What up, everyone? It's your boy, Satemi, out of the Reverend of the Revolution, welcoming you to another edition of your Daily Revolution. Helping you to wake up and turn your brain on to go prosper every single day in every part of your life. Today's topic, get off of the hype train. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. In today's marketplace, hype is like the new currency. At least it's the currency until it runs out. Every single day in my email, on Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, and so on, I see constant hype, rants, and there's nothing wrong with this at all. Some people are in a phase and a stage of their life where they need to stop suppressing and get things out. Start telling the truth, start being more real, even if it may come across as crazy. But the flip side of this and the destructive part of the rants and the craziness and the hype and the quote unquote motivational videos with the great thumping bass and flashing lights and narration, it's not real life. Real life was never about this Hollywood like music and cuts and flash bulbs and real life was simply doing the required work which could be boring and mundane and arduous. So the problem with today's mentors and consultants and programs and products and services and companies is that if it's built off of hype, if it's built strictly off of the adrenaline and the hype, it will not last. It cannot last. This is like a relationship being built on pure sexuality. Sure, the sex may be good for a season, Sure that you know there's some attraction, some physicality, but then what? What happens after the looks fade and that no more like get you excited? What's the depth and the substance that you can be attracted to? Where's the conversation? This is much like today's programs. Yes, you are listening to a podcast. Yes, I get pretty excited and I'll rent and I'll talk, I'll preach and I'll teach and I'll spit the truth. And in the core of my message, is that transformation and conversion, real breakthrough, requires one to tell the truth, to confront, to start to step back and to get clear. What do I truly want my life to look like? Am I willing to do the work to get it? Am I willing to confront the things I've been avoiding? Can I get off of the hype train long enough so that I could see with clear eyes and have ears to hear and a heart to understand? that there's no gimmicks to the top. Motivation will only last so long. There's the beeping button that says, get off the hype train. So what can you do instead of the hype? Because if you live on that hype train, that adrenaline rush of music and anger and cool motivational videos, if that's how you start your day, like a person who is always hyped up on caffeine. You get to a point where it no longer can affect you. You need more and more. This is like the drug addict who takes one hit of whatever he or she decides to take. And pretty soon it's no longer enough. And pretty soon they've got to take more and more. And before you know it, the Red Bull that used to get you excited, the inner drink that used to give you energy has no effect, nor does three or four energy drinks or the drugs that you now inhale, pop, or shoot up with. It's the same thing with the motivation of today. If you are purely living on hype to get your business off the ground, then what you're saying is you are going to need hype all of the time. It's not sustainable. It does not provide a solid foundation for sustainability, for predictability. And what we really want with our businesses has always been about being predictable and sustainable. See, the funny thing about marketers, network marketers, coaches, consultants, entrepreneurs, they always talk about having this predictable, sustainable, or the nine to five sucks. There's nothing wrong with the nine to five. You know why? Because nine to five provides people a solid income. It's why I can never get why marketers and people online would make fun of the nine to five. There's nothing wrong with that. You don't need to make fun of someone else's job because it's not your job. And you don't need to make fun of someone else's profession to get them to come to your business. That's ludicrous. So stop living the hype. Put it down for a moment. Just start to live in reality that says, hey, what I want to do 
is build a foundation that gives me real sustainability. A foundation that if I build upon, regardless of what circumstances, situations come, regardless of what the economy does, and regardless of what market trends do, I am well equipped to handle it. I don't need the hype. I don't need all the hoorah motivation. That's fine, and there's a time and a place for it. I get it. When I used to do sales, we'd do cheers every day. And you play sports, like there's some time and, and place to kind of get a little hoorah going. But the majority of your power is going to come from within. From where? Not the hype, not the motivation, not even the inspiration. See, the inspiration is about others. Motivation comes externally. Inspiring others means I'm going to try to go and force this upon someone else. The greatest thing we can do is to create a deep and sincere commitment from within that would empower others, not enable them, not save them, not carry them. And this includes empowering yourself. So how do we get off of the hype train? How do we stop the adrenaline from running through us and running off of that? Because the problem is then you'll only do work when you feel like it. You will only do the difficult things if you're in the mood. And you and I both know that resistance doesn't put us in the mood very often. We will more likely, more often than not, not feel like doing the required work. We will not feel like making the calls. We will not feel like getting out of the car to knock the doors. We will not feel like having those conversations with employees. We will not feel like doing the difficult things or the mundane, arduous, boring things, such as writing a sales letter, picking up the phone and dialing, following up with leads. So how do we break this chain? Very simple. Number one, get clear about what you want to build, create, or resolve. Clarity is power. I often talk about it in other podcasts, in my content, in my coaching, on my lectures, on stages. Get clear and just ask, what do I truly want from this situation or with this person or this job or this, the life that I'm building? Number two, simply say, can I be committed? Can I live a life of commitment? Commitment is doing the things that I said I'm going to do. Doing the necessary required work to get the, the, the desired results. Get clear and then get committed. And then three, keep committing every single day. Commitment's a funny thing. We oftentimes think, well, I'm going to make one commitment and I'm good. That's not how it works. The way that it works is really simple. I recommit every single day. See, the commitments that I built from two, five, ten years ago, I can't live on those commitments. Why? Because I'm changing. I've changed. My environment has changed. Society has changed. I've grown and leveled up. I desire different things based upon who I am today, not who I was 10 years ago, which requires me to make new commitments every day. Oftentimes, it's the same commitment until you begin to really shift. One moment, you want a specific type of car. Two or three years later, you're married with kids. You don't want the car anymore. You want a different car that would serve what you want. One moment, you're just all about launching your business and putting X amount of dollars in your bank account. And then what? What's after that? You get to a point where you realize, okay, having money in my account is really nice, but now what? How do I predictably produce this? How do I affect more people? How do I create a life where I've got space and time and energy to do the things I want to do? This requires a deep, sincere commitment and clarity. Are you willing to stop the hype? It's easy to get addicted to the hype. It's easy to get Facebook likes on things that are really hype and, and like just like, yeah, and ranting. You don't have to live that way. I can promise you this. You don't have to live that way. If you choose to create a life of real results, of real transformation and conversion, this means that you're going to stop living off of half-truths, myths, and fallacies, the motivational hype, hoorah, and you're, you're going to go back to the basics and fundamentals. What is it that I truly want to create? What's the required work? Am I willing to do those things? If yes, I'm going to make a deep, sincere commitment every single day. And then I'm going to follow through and be that person that follows through. Very simple. So simple to do so that it's so simple not to do. You don't need hype anymore, my friends. If you can operate less on hype and more on commitment and clarity and consistency and principles... You will win in the long run. You will win in the short run. You will win, period. This is your boy, Satema Ngali, reminding you if you're going to create a life of real radical results, a life that you love, where you have the results, 
the friends, the family, the lifestyle, the health, the spirituality, that type of life, it will require you to pay the piper every single day to get to the top of your mountains where your promised land prize and possibilities are waiting, just waiting for you to take them. The revolution has begun. I'm out. For more info on joining the revolution and living your greatest life of prosperity today, go to www.yourdailyrevolution.com and join us in waking up, turning your brain on, and prospering today.